Hi, my name is Ryan and I'm very excited to walk through our new sales page rollout with you in this video. This sales page has been designed and built to allow for faster, more detailed analysis to help brands like yours get the most out of their ad spend. So all of the same functionality that you're used to is still found within this page here. It's located in the same spot here on the left. What we've done is added some improved functionality that we think will be a fundamental quality of life improvement and allow for deeper analysis. So starting at the top, save states, still very much a core feature in our platform. You'll see those here. They should be ported over from your previous ones. Uh, we're also going to get our attribution model window accounting mode in a similar location. Any leaks we want to share right here is where we click our save state and create it, right? Here is where we export any options. What we'll find as a slight difference is we have this breakdown by as well as filter by. Before this was in one uh, module, what we'll see now is if we want to view our data, let's say by platforms, we can select platforms just like this. And then let's say we want to run a country grouping underneath, right? We want to view our data by platform and then country. Or maybe we want to do it by country and then platform first, right? This breakdown allows us to do just that. But then let's say, okay, we, we're viewing all of our platforms, but I only want to look at a few that have ad spend, right? Let's say I only want to look at this, these ones. What you do is you click that filter, select them just like I did, and now the data underneath will update both in the chart as well as the table with those platforms we have selected. Okay, moving on to the charting, some, some fundamental improvements here. So number one, time granularity. Hourly, daily, but now weekly and monthly as well. And what you'll see is there's some logic around which presets are available, right? So when we change to weekly, the scale changes with it. What's also handy about these improvements is we allow for time comparisons, both on a custom period and previous period, but also same period, different year, right? So if we wanted to compare metrics against same period, different year, it's now really easy to do so. So when I select this, all the table metrics are going to be updated. But if I come in here to compare to, I can select this time period. And then what I'll see is the metric I have against this year's spend versus last year's spend. Really easy, really handy. Okay, a couple other options in terms of comparables, different attribution models, right? Do we wanna compare our last touch versus our clicks and views? Grounded in an environment of last clicks that we're used to versus what the machine learning is seeing, what is kind of that fuller impact view? Maybe a great way to look at things. Attribution window, accounting mode, fundamentally a lot more. Uh, robustness is now available. Let's say we wanted to look at three different metrics, right? So right now we selected two, spend revenue. Then let's say we also wanted to add in visits. What we'll see is this additional axes here on the left-hand side. And then if we wanted to align these axes, ch change the shape of the chart, what will happen with when we click this is they'll align for us, smoothen out, make it so the y-axis for all three variables here are the same. Okay. We also have these additional ad filter buttons right here underneath. So right now we're looking at these ad platforms. Maybe I just want to chart just Facebook, right? And maybe I want to do just my Facebook spend, but show me my attributed rev across all of them, right? We now allow you to do that with these additional filter buttons here. Real easy to use. Okay, next up and our tabling underneath. Anything that we select here, allows us the ability to see those line items in the chart by going up here and clicking this split view. And so when we click this split view, we're telling the tool, okay, now chart against what we have selected in the table. So we can see each item we have selected in the table is showing up here on the top. If we uncheck something, it'll be removed, allow for nice, easy visuals. We take it a step further by also adding in bar charts, right? handy, easy, quick to use. If we want to add additional charting, we can. We can just click this add additional chart. It'll add that entire module there. We can remove that as needed. But as we focus on the table, there's some improved functionality here as well. So number one that I want to call out is this search functionality. We can do comma separated search, top of funnel, middle of funnel, right? We can also do regex searches. So similar to our automatic label rules but also anything we search, we can save now. So you can come back to it whenever you want, right? Real easy 
uh, to, to recall and get back to a previous save view. Okay, next up here, and one of my favorites, is the customized table, and the metrics we wanna select. This widget has been redesigned. And on the right-hand side, what we'll see is amongst each metric, you'll see this little graph. And if we toggle it on, we're gonna give you the shape and the trend of this metric. So we see for spend, a little underneath, it's gone up, pulled back, a little up. We can now see the shape and the trend line of each individual metric as we prefer. So we can turn all these off if we want. We could leave just row as on. And of course, everything you save state will stay in place. Okay, next up, anything we wanna drill into. So right now I have three platforms selected. Everything now has this drop down functionality to it, which is really exciting. So let's say we wanted to drill into this, let's call it Facebook for this platform. We can drill on down, we can see all of our campaigns, which is really nice. If we click on it, we'll go into the ad set. If we want to load up the chart with these specific campaigns, get the trend lines of these, we can click on those and they will do so. But then, last but not least, is this improvement on our filtering amongst metrics. So metric filters is something we're really excited about. Let's say we wanted to just look at uh, channels that had delivery during this period. We could do a metric filter spend greater than one. And let's say we want to use multiple, right? Show me all my uh, line items that have spend greater than one, but also a row as above three. Now it's really easy to go and do that. You can imagine having a saved view for uh, show me my winning ads or show me my winning campaigns or show me just my losing campaigns. So we've looked to make all this really easy for you guys with improved functionality, with improved charting, with improved comparable features. So. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and we're very excited to get your hands on this.